Hi guys, this is Android Nub, and these are the best free Android RPGs of 2014 Part 1. First up we have Critica Chaos Unleashed, published by Gameville. Here's a really cool action RPG. When you start, you can choose between two different characters. There's a joystick to move around and a button to attack, as well as skills to use. The graphics look really nice, and the gameplay is really action-oriented. There's lots of levels to go through where you fight through mobs of monsters. And then there's a boss battle at the end. The animations look really cool. You can level up, get new equipment and skills. It's a high-quality action RPG to check out. Next up we have Iron Knights, published by Actosoft. Here's a cool action RPG. Graphics look good and so do the animations. There is a joystick to move around and a button to attack and skills to use. The game is made up of a ton of missions and each mission is kind of short. You go through a couple waves of enemies and then there's a boss battle. You can collect heroes to add to your party which is cool. There's new weapons and armor to get and you can upgrade your skills. Cool action RPG to check out. Next up we have Burning Blade, published by Burning Blade. Here's another cool new action RPG. When you start there's four different classes, and the combat is action oriented. There's a joystick to move around, a button to attack, and skills to use. Graphics and animations look really good. There's a town where you can get quests and see other players, and the missions are instanced. There's lots of levels to go through, and there's cool boss battles, and sort of like a story. There's new equipment and skills to get. Really fun action RPG to check out. Whoa, why do they have a girl in her underwear here? <laughs> Next up we have Lionheart Tactics, published by Congregate. Here's a game similar to Final Fantasy Tactics. There's a huge map with lots of levels to go through and the game has a story. The combat is turn based and requires strategy. So you move your different units and you can attack with them and use skills. And the goal is to eliminate the enemies. There's new characters to collect and add to your party. The game has PvP where you fight against AI versions of other people's parties. The graphics are fairly good. The game doesn't have energy, but you do have to wait for your characters to heal. Overall, it's a really fun tactics RPG to check out. Feel my sword. Next up we have Soulcraft 2, published by Mobile Bits. Here's a really cool action RPG. You control your character with a joystick and there's a button to attack and skills to use. When you start, you can choose between three classes. I chose Barbarian, so I could do this. Demacia! Barbarian. So this game has a single player campaign where there's lots of levels to go through. And there's PvP where you can fight against bot versions of other people's characters. The graphics in this game are amazing. They look extremely good. And so are the animations. The game kind of has a story and it's a cool action RPG to check out. Demacia! <laughs> Next up we have Mother of Myth, published by Planary. This is a really amazing RPG. The graphics and animations look really nice, and the game has really high production value. So you tap to move in this game, and you tap enemies to attack them. This game has cool skills with gesture controls, so you draw out certain shapes to do certain skills. Works out pretty well. There's a lot of chapters and levels to go through, and the game has a fully voice acted story. And the story is pretty good. This is definitely one of the best free RPGs out there. So go check it out. Next up we have Mage and Minions, published by Making Fun. Here's a really cool hack and slash RPG that's very similar to Diablo. When you start you can play as a warrior or mage, male or female. Graphics aren't the best, but they look fairly good. You tap to move around, and you tap on monsters to attack them. You also draw gestures to do skills. The game has a story and lots of levels to go through, and there's new companions to add to your party, as well as new equipment and skills to get. Really cool hack and slash RPG to check out. Is there someone in that barrel? No, shut up. Next up we have Summoner's War Sky Arena, published by Come to Us. Here's a really cool casual RPG. The graphics and animations are nice, and it's very similar to Hello Hero. It's turn-based and you can choose which enemy to attack, and there's skills to use. You can also build a city in this game and summon new characters, and there's tons of characters to collect which makes these games really fun. It's online so you can chat with other people. There's an element system where certain elements do more damage. And there's tons of levels to go through, tons of monsters, boss battles, really fun and addicting casual RPG. Next up we have Soul Guardians Age of Midgard, published by ZQ Game. 
Here is a really cool online RPG. There is currently two classes to choose from. The combat is really cool. You control your character with a joystick and there is a button to attack and skills to use. The fighting and effects look really cool. And it's really action packed and a lot of fun. There is other players in this game. Once you reach level 10 you can play co-op with other players. Meaning you can party with them and stuff. Really nice RPG to check out. Next up we have Brave Trials. Published by IGG.com. Here is a really cool 2D action RPG. When you start there's three different classes, male and female. You control your character with a joystick and there's a button to attack and skills to use. The game has a story and there is character dialogue. You again? I'm warning you to stop this now. Pathetic human, die! Wait, how is a pig even talking? There is a town where you can get quests and see other players. The gameplay is really fun. It's action oriented. There is pets you can collect which help you fight in battle. There is lots of levels to go through and boss battles. Really fun online action RPG to check out. So go share the fun. Don't get left behind. Or you will die. Next up we have Eternity Warriors 3, published by Glue. This is a really cool dungeon crawler hack and slash RPG. The graphics look really nice, and the game is fairly well optimized. When you start out there's three different classes, warrior, monk, and mage. So you do quests in this game by going through many different levels, which are relatively short but there are a lot of levels, and they all look fairly different. You control your character with a joystick and you attack with a button. There's flashy skills to use, really cool RPG with fun action packed combat. Next up we have Galactic Fantasy Prelude, published by Moonfish Software. This is a really cool space RPG. It has a fully voice acted story. There's a galactic map where you can travel around to different planets, going through the main story and the side missions. The combat is really cool and easy to control. You control your ship with a joystick and you have a button to attack. The graphics are very nice and the gameplay is very smooth. There's a lot to do in this game, you can upgrade your ship, buy parts, trade stuff between planets, and a lot more. Whether you like space games or not, this is a really cool RPG to check out. Next we have Highland Warriors, published by OTM HWS. This game is also known as Celtic Heroes on iOS. This is a new MMORPG on Android that has a medieval fantasy theme. When you start off there's 5 different classes to choose from. The combat is click and point similar to Order and Chaos Online. The graphics actually look really good. This game is open world and has a lot of content. You can run around and get quests and kill monsters. There's a lot to do and RPG and MMORPG fans will really like this game. Next up is Pylon, published by Mango Publisher. This is a lesser known RPG but it's definitely a good one. The game plays really smooth and there's a story, and a town where you can get quests as well as the main storyline to follow. This game is kind of like a dungeon crawler since there's levels to go through. You control your character with a joystick, there's three different classes. You attack enemies by pressing a button and there's skills to use. The game plays really fluidly, there's new equipment to get and stuff to collect. This is a really good RPG that's really worth checking out. Next up we have Cross Horizon, published by Dina Osaka. This game was shut down a long time ago but now it has a new publisher. Here is a cool fantasy RPG. You have a joystick to move around, you can customize your character, and the game does have a story and quest to do. The combat uses some cool touch and gesture controls. You attack enemies by swiping or tapping on them. You do have a stamina bar so you can't just keep swiping non-stop. And you can also block. The combat is fun and there's lots to do in this game. Fun RPG to check out. Next up we have Arcane So, published by MC. Here is a really cool 2D side scrolling action RPG. The game has three different classes and one you have to unlock. There is buttons to move on the bottom left and you can attack and use skills on the bottom right. The game is fast paced and action oriented. There is lots of levels to go through and boss battles. You can get new equipment and skills. Sometimes you have an AI helping you out. The graphics and animations are not bad. Fun side scrolling action RPG to check out. And is single player so no internet required. Next up we have Dawn of the Immortals, published by Perfect World Entertainment. Here is a new MMORPG. When you start out there's three different classes, Mage, Berserker, and Priest. This is definitely a high quality MMORPG. The graphics look really good, and so do the animations. There is a joystick to move around, a button to attack, and skills to use. There are some persistent areas where you can see other players. There's lots of different maps, lots of different monsters. There's a town where there's shop NPCs, quest NPCs, and other players. You can get pets in this game. There's also a lot of instanced areas where you can solo or party with other people. This is a really nice MMORPG. Nice graphics, fun gameplay. It feels high quality, there's other players to play with, tons of content, which includes getting new skills and equipment. Awesome MMORPG to check out. Next up we have Animas Online, published by Gameforge Productions. 
Here is a cool and casual hack and slash RPG. So there's three different characters to choose from, which are the three different classes. The gameplay is actually really smooth. There's a joystick to move around and a button to attack. This game has an animal theme where you fight humans. You can have someone else in your party, but they're controlled by bots. So it's actually not a real person. Not a real person. There's a town where you can buy stuff and get quests. And the missions are stage based. Uh, there's a lot of missions to go through. You can level up, get new equipment, fun casual RPG to check out. Next up we have Darkstone published by Newman. This is a really interesting RPG, really similar to Diablo. So you tap your character to move around, and there are NPCs to talk to, many of which are voice acted. I sincerely hope you will find the ones who killed them in such a cowardly way. And there's a lot of quests to get. You can control two characters, which is cool. You attack enemies by tapping them. It's like a hack and slash Diablo style RPG. There's a lot of places to go and dungeons to explore. The graphics don't look that good, but it's really worth checking out. Next up, we have Angry Birds Epic, published by Rovio Mobile. Here's a new Angry Birds game. Last time it was a kart racer, this time it's an RPG. So this is a turn-based RPG with a Angry Birds theme. The game has tons of levels to go through. And in each level you fight against some bad guys. So you drag your character on the enemy to attack them. There's skills to use, as well as this chilly special skill. There's new characters to add to your party and they have different attacks and skills. You can use the loot you collect to craft weapons and other stuff. This game does have a ton of content and it's actually a really fun casual RPG. Next up we have Legend of Roland, published by Happy Mage. This is the same game as Fantasy Heroes but with a new publisher. It's a really fun RPG. You control a group of characters and there's more characters to unlock along the way. You can drag your characters to move around or tap to move and attack. There are skills to use and the graphics are quite good. This game actually has a good story and there's tons of character dialogue. There's lots of levels to go through, different monsters to fight. This is a fun RPG with lots of content. Next up we have Elements Epic Heroes, published by Gameville. Here's a cool new fantasy action RPG. It kinda looks like Arcane Legends, but it's actually really different. You control a group of three characters, and you tap the ground to move, and tap on enemies to attack them. There's three classes right now, but there's more to unlock. There's this town area where you get quests, and there's a lot of levels to go through. The graphics are decent, and the game is action-oriented. You can also change leaders to level up your characters separately. This is a cool kind of casual action RPG. Next up we have Slingshot Graves, published by Colopo. This is a really cool casual JRPG with unique combat. When you start, you can create your character and choose between three weapons, which is kind of like your class. To find this game, you slingshot your characters around. If your character touches an enemy, he'll attack it, and then he bounces off. If he touches another enemy, then he'll attack that one, and you kind of bounce around attacking enemies. You can have two other people in your party, which are the two other classes. The combat is turn-based, and the slingshot mechanism is really unique. There's quests to do, some story elements, and you can also play co-op with other people, which is pretty cool. Cool, unique, casual RPG to check out. Next up, we have Blackmore, published by Move Games Limited. Here's a funny brawler adventure game. There's a joystick to move around and a button to attack. There's a couple of different characters to choose from. So there's lots of levels to go through where you fight monsters. The gameplay is kind of simple, but it is fun to play. There's different moves you can do, many of which are inspired by Street Fighter. There's some bosses which are fairly interesting to fight. Fun brawler, platforming adventure game checkout. And last, we have Sword to Go, published by Touch Fu. This is a side-scrolling adventure RPG platformer, all in one. The graphics are not the best, but it's really not that bad. It's kind of charming. The game has a story and a quest to get. You travel through the maps, fighting enemies. This game definitely reminds me of Zelda, which is really cool. There's a lot of maps to go through, a lot of creatures. The game looks kind of simple, but it's actually a really engaging game with lots of content. Anyway, that's my top 25 list of best free Android RPGs of 2014. Make sure you guys subscribe for more videos, and thanks for watching.